Americans, Atlantic City was number 15 in the country in per capita crime rate. You know what happened after three to five years? What happened after three to five years, the unemployment rate in New Jersey wasn't 30% higher than the state, it was 50% higher than the state. Instead of being 15th in the country in per capita crime rate, it jumped to number one in per capita crime rate. Over one third of all the businesses outside of the casinos had closed in Atlantic City after three years. After five years, that figure jumped to 60%. And worst of all, 25% of the population of Atlantic City left Atlantic City. Crime rates soared, property values dropped, jobs outside of the casino industry dropped. And just, and just this past week, the governor of New Jersey, I think his name is Christie, has asked now, because the casinos are doing so poor, and they've laid off so many people, that now they need the sports book in Atlantic City to save themselves. And so how do we make the distinction? How does the electorate make a distinction? How does the media make a distinction between legitimate job creation and investment through reforms in trade policy, reforms in tax code, reforms in investment policy, and the red herring of, 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 of to the promise of, of, of basically false jobs uh, that may be more easily created in the short term but create little or no value, in fact, maybe, as you just pointed out, destroying value. Making people who are unemployable, employable, and building their skills to match what's available out there. I mean, th this community went through a very high unemployment rate, as you know. But we've made great progress here now. We've, we've put a lot of people back to work. All the financial publications estimate that the state of Florida will rank in the top five in job creation over the next five years. So the politicians that are trying to ram this down our throats say that this is something that, that, that is an instant fix and a quick fix. There is no such thing as a quick fix. We all know that and what the costs are. But some of the some of the telling statistics here, and I think they're important. There's an FBI, it was an FBI index. Uh, that was that they, they calculated what crime rates were through, throughout the United States in communities that had casino gambling or riverboat gambling or any type of gambling versus communities that did not. And it's interesting. In communities that had that had that had that had casinos, after five years, robbery rates went up 136 percent. Aggravated assaults, 91 percent. Auto theft, 78 percent. Burglary, 50 percent. Larceny, 38 percent. Rate, so, rate so, so it sounds like, et cetera. So what sticks so, in my head is that they, 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 when they built the casino in Monte Carlo, one of the most famous casinos in the world, the king of, of Monaco said, "You're not allowed to gamble here. If you live here, we're going to take the other. We're going to take foreigners' money and we're going to use it to make the people who live here their taxes cheaper." You pointed out to me they did the same thing or a similar thing in Singapore. What do the people with that that run those casinos or those governments know about gambling that we don't seem to understand? Well, but because because this type of gambling that they're proposing here will make Miami into a Las Vegas. It will turn the state of Florida into a Nevada. We don't need that here. All you have to do is just look around. You just got to show What's up. here now? I mean, our hotels are doing well. Uh, our, our, our community is making a comeback. We have we have the most, marvelous, the most marvelous arts community. I chair the Basel Art Fair, which is here the first week in December. We have over 40,000 people that come to this community from all over the world to attend this fair here. We become the, the international, the, the hub of the international banking community for Central and South America. This is the home of the Cleveland Orchestra during the winter. Uh, we have a wonderful ballet here. Uh, we have, we, we built a quality of life. What this does, it's an assault on our quality of life of this community. What they want to do is to suck everything out of it. We don't need it. Let them keep what's in Las Vegas in Las Vegas and not here in our community. I'll keep Miami, Miami. Okay, thank you, Dylan. It's a pleasure. Nice